climate agreement that's being discussed here in Paris is split into key sections like finance, mitigation, and adaptation. One of the areas is called transparency, and that's an area in which John Niles from the University of California, San Diego has a special interest. What a lot of the public hears about when you simplify this agreement, is it 1.5 degrees or is it 2 degrees that we're going to? That's important, but the machinery of what happens actually is about how we can measure countries' emissions and hold them accountable to what they said they're going to do. And that's the transparency article. John took me through one paragraph, paragraph six in the article on transparency, to show me how texts like these evolved during negotiations. When we look at the text, disagreements here between countries are categorized into brackets and options. So here's a bracket. Here we got brackets. Shall, should, other. This is actually, they haven't even decided what countries have to do. That's right. So anything that's in brackets here is still being actively negotiated. It's still, there's still disagreement among parties about what text, if any, they're going to put in the final agreement. Stuff that's been agreed is what they call clean. It doesn't have brackets. It doesn't have options. What, what does this paragraph actually say here? I mean, what do we, what do we know based on the old text and what changed to the new text? In the old version, when we talked about what countries were required to report on to be transparent, we didn't even know what verb we were going to use here at the UN. The old version had brackets around that verb and it would say shall provide information, should provide information, and then there was a bracket that said other. Maybe we can come up with some other verb, <laughs> maybe somewhere between shall and should. Now, five days later, on a cleaner, more consolidated text, even though there's still some disagreements, they've agreed to use the word shall, which is a stronger word than should <laughs> in okay. this context. And this brings us to the, to the options. We've got yep. shall in option one, but we do have an option two. That's right, so we can say that this paragraph is currently not clean. Even though there's no brackets, we still have two competing options. They're just disagreeing about which overall direction they're gonna take on this topic. So here we've got a very simple assessment that says people or countries are going to report Option two actually goes actually, into a countries, few more details. countries shall report. Shall report. <laughs> and this is where the language and the minutia of these options and brackets and articles and paragraphs becomes really important because they're basically saying the same thing at the top of the paragraph, but the second option goes into much more details about what parties m must report out on. And since this is an agreement about greenhouse gas emissions, we really think that they must report on their inventories of greenhouse gases, as well as other important information. These options are connected to all the other options and brackets. Right. So if you unwrap one in a particular way, then for this to work as a 20-year agreement, we need to unwrap or unravel or choose a particular option that's based on what we unwrap somewhere else. The complexity of unraveling those brackets and resolving those options and making this a legally coherent document, agreement, that is not trivial. Even with the political will, we can still tie ourselves up. And if during that, you make some countries feel like they haven't been trusted or listened to in this minutia of the unwinding of the brackets and the options, right. They can walk away from this process and this process breaks down. And, and you basically did an analysis of all these brackets and options. Um, walk me through this. Um. So what we do is we look at both the agreement and the decisions and we go through it article by article, paragraph by paragraph on the key topics and we see how many options and brackets have been removed over the course of the past week of negotiations. And the key thing to know is there's been some progress. There's some entire articles that are clean. There's a, a diminution or a reduction in the number of options and I like brackets. The, first word. the diminution. Um, <laughs> Reduced complexity. That's right. Reduced complexity as of now, and that's a good sign. But most observers to this process who've been here for a long time really wish we were a lot cleaner at this point because it's going to go to higher ministers who can't deal with 500 brackets across options and paragraphs and articles between the agreement and the decision. So we wished it was even clearer now, but we do see clear progress in reducing the complexity.
the new text is out. And if we look at the paragraph we were studying before, paragraph six, they have in fact resolved this particular issue. There were two options, now there's one. They've settled for the more detailed option. So all countries are now gonna be on the same page. They all have to provide the same information. Now, if you think about the overall agreement, uh, things have improved. There are fewer brackets, fewer options. We are now at 29 pages versus 48 before. Uh, it looks like things are getting better, but they've still got a ways to go.